Hello, my name is Michael Sam, Director of Product and Ecosystem Strategy at Commvault. Today, we're going to talk about the three major use cases for data protection products. Those are operational recovery, disaster recovery, and cyber recovery. We'll start with operational recovery as it's the easiest. This is the simple, I've deleted a file and I need you to restore it, or I've deleted an email or can't find it. It's a one-off, it's typically handed by the help desk. There's no special procedures or operations that need to be set up for this to occur. The second one is disaster recovery. This is done in natural or man-made disasters where a entire site is typically affected. The setup for this would be two sites. The customer would have a site A and a site B, and they would be replicating the data back and forth between the two. If either site goes down, the other site could stand up whatever processes or applications were taken away and run them until a long-term solution can be applied. In cyber recovery, the main difference between it and disaster recovery is that in disaster recovery, you don't question your data. You know your data is valid and good. And in cyber recovery, you have to question everything. There's no way of knowing whether the bad actor implemented malware or corrupted your data. And so everything must be scanned, analyzed, and looked at forensically. Because of that, you cannot rely on the RTO, RPO, the long-term standards within disaster recovery as your baseline within cyber. RTO, RPO was all about the fact that I trusted my data, how long does it take to get back and how much data will I lose in that? With cyber recovery, you might have to go back multiple versions of a, of a file and that would be different on each machine or even within the same machine for different files. So cyber recovery is much more time intensive on the recovery side, the average being 21 days to recover your primary systems. The important thing to remember between these is that disaster recovery, which has been out there for years, has a very well-defined test pattern that people follow. Usually it is quarterly tests with a large one-year update where they test everything. Because of that, they found out what doesn't work. So the problem with cyber is that we've never gotten into that regimen of testing that we did with disaster recovery. And that's really because it's just way more complex. Nowadays, you have a hybrid environment. So you'll have data that's in all of the different clouds, multiple on-prem locations, colos. How would you ever test these at the same time? It's a very difficult, very costly solution. So what we've done at Commvault is we've enabled the ability to do this with a new feature called the Commvault Clean Room that will allow you to take all your data from any site, spin it up in a Azure tenant and test everything, run it through your cyber recovery testing. So for the first time ever, we've enabled cyber recovery to have as much testing as you did with disaster recovery. And again, you don't know what you don't know until you test it. 